Hey everyone, good evening. This is Kyo Daiken. Today's review, we are going to take a look at the Nespy case from Retroflag. This is for the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus. Yeah, I know it's a little bit outdated, but uh, the reason for that is I was still new in the hobby. And uh, just to let you guys know, I was probably in the RetroPie hobby for about two to three months when I recorded this video. This video was originally recorded back in 2018. And so I came through it uh, from my, I found it in my archives and wanted to make sure I went ahead and edited it and uploaded it for you guys since I already put the time in. But uh, one of the things I was definitely interested to do is like, even though I wasn't as knowledgeable in the hobby as I am now, um, you know, I was trying my best to really help out a lot of people and share my experiences. Hope you guys really enjoy this video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. This is the Nespy Pi case from Retroflight for the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus. Hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial. Take a look at it. We have our Raspberry Pi 3B Plus uh, fully ready to go. So let's open this up and get into it. And in addition to that, I did order my other fans from Amazon. These with 30 millimeter, 30 millimeter by seven millimeter uh, fans specifically for this case. So we're gonna get that all set up to go. And at the link, there's gonna be a link at the bottom of the description that will show you how to access or have the GPIO fully functional specifically for this case. Now, just to let you know, there are several images out there. Uh, let me show you mine. Uh, there are already several images out there that have this uh, script fully installed, so there's nothing else you need to do. So let me see if this one actually has it. And Okay, this particular card that I currently have installed does not have the script, but I will include uh, the link at the bottom of the description. Uh, typically, if you're running uh, RetroPie, some of the images that you can get from Arcade Punks that are made by uh, ETA Prime and some of the other guys, uh, it will already have that script included, so there's nothing else for you to do. All right, so let's get back to this case this thing fully set up and it's highly recommended you get a fan for this case because there's not much airflow uh, going through this I know this is actually one of the highly more highly sought after cases out there because it gives you that retro feel the feel that uh, you would have back in the 19, mid 1980s gaming era. So uh, this was actually the first case I wanted to get, but I thought the SNES case was a little nicer looking, so I chose to go with that. But now we have this, and we'll get this installed. I believe this case currently goes for about $24 on Amazon Prime. Very nice case. fully functional All right. so when you get this you just pull it out of the box and you have some other screws and some other things inside uh, what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna go ahead and wire this in I uh, wire the fan in and the fan should go Side there. All right. It definitely give you a lot of screws. And one of the things I've been noticing is 
with all the fans that I've been getting in some of these cases, even the Smarza case, you get an extra screw to go along with it. So that's always a good thing in case you uh, lose one. But I hope it's not like putting an RC car together where you take it apart, you put it back together, and you have more screws than you need. So uh, let's see here. Let me get my smaller screwdriver. Now there are some additional nuts here, but it looks like this is going directly into the case itself. Well, that's not a problem. I think it may just do two. I don't need all four screws. I'll we'll do them kind of cool. And on the, now since the GPIO function, uh, obviously we know where this goes. We actually know where this goes. This actually goes on the end of the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus board. Uh, this is the fan header. So we're gonna put the fan plug in on this, power it in and make sure it goes. And so of course, uh, everything in this case gets rerouted so there's a USB plug in here. One of these will plug, this will plug into one of the ports on the Pi. Obviously we know where this goes. And so everything will be rerouted here to the front of the board. And I believe with the older Raspi cases, uh, you also had to install the red LED light yourself. But on this one, uh, it's already done for you. So on the previous bottles, not only did these not work, but you could get the red LED light there, but you don't have to worry about any of that. sink in. You know, one of the things I love about the Raspberry Pi units and accessories is everything seems to work. Um, you're definitely getting what you order when you make a purchase online. And for me, my mode of purchase is through Amazon. I've seen some of the eBay things, but uh, they seem to be a little bit more pricier. But, you know, when I'm working on these kits and I need them in a couple of days, I just prefer to get that overnight shipping. I just wanted to make sure I wasn't stripping that one out there. And that one should be... So again, I may have to screw down some more. There we go. Let me see if this works for me. I always typically like the bigger ones for some reason. Yeah, there we go. Oops. I hope you guys have been enjoying the series. I got one more smart as a case to hook up, but I've already done a video for that. So I think after this, what I'll probably do is a full install with how to sync up your Raspberry Pi or how to create your own image. Well, this isn't working out for me, so I probably 
I know I probably should have installed these, but let me take a look here. When you're screwing your board down into the plate of the Nesby pie case, make sure this little wire right here isn't in the way of your drill of your hole. Uh, I hope I don't have any issues, but that's what happened with mine right there. The wire got it kind of got in the way when I was trying to screw something in. So uh, hopefully it's all right. This little wire right here runs from the underneath the part of the motherboard. Okay, we're about halfway with our Nesby Pi case assembly. As you notice, I have my positive wire here. The red one on the far end of the key, or the far end of the Pi board. That's where exactly where you want it to be. And we have uh, the USB connector plugged in, as well as the uh, Ethernet port that's fully assembled. Now you only need two of the black screws, so those two black screws will go here and here. Uh, when you're assembling your case. So we're gonna use the rest of our screws now to fully assemble this case and put everything together. So that's about where you should be at the halfway point. Also with your fan, you have your positive here on the outside and your negative here on the inside of the case. They're fully working. So that's where you wanna make sure you have it uh, when you get your case assembled. And then we have about four of our long screws here. So we'll go ahead and get those screwed in. This will secure the case for us. Okay guys, I use all the short screws to screw them in in one, two, three, four, five, and six. So let's go ahead and test this out and get it all plugged up and uh, see what okay, happens. Okay, so that about does it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. So once you have your Raspberry Pi 3B Plus installed inside the Nesby case, make sure you have it hooked up to your TV, make sure you have your controller hooked up. And once you press the power button, you should have your front end Im uh, image of your RetroPie loading on your TV. Hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial. I wanted to make sure that I showed everything in full detail. Again, I recorded this video when I was still new to the hobby. And if you guys got anything out of this, you know, maybe you guys got inspired by watching, you know, uh, you know, some of my videos now compared to uh, what I did back then. But again, I was still new, just trying to help out everybody, still figure out certain things and really take my time and enjoy the experience. I hope this has been a learning process for you. This is Keel Dyken. Hope you guys have a good day and you guys have a good night.